my name is Denny. I'm a physiotherapist. And if you're watching, it's probably because you have cramps. Today, I'm going to show you some good exercises to relieve those cramps. Please, no exercise should be painful. If it's the case, see a physiotherapist. Now, let's do these exercises together step by step. You will need a towel for the first exercise. You're going to stretch your ankle and your calves with the towel and your hand. So you're going to pull slowly, gently on the towel. And during that, keep your knee completely extended. So keep that stretch for a few seconds. You take a little break and you do it again for a total of 60 seconds. Stretching your muscles could help you to prevent some cramps. You could do these exercises before going to bed and you could also do them twice a day. While you're doing this exercise, try to keep your head, your shoulders and your hips well aligned. We'll take a little break of 10 seconds and we'll do it on the other side. So it's exactly the same thing. You could keep that stretch for 10 or 20 seconds or even a little bit longer. Some people prefer to, to do it like for a few seconds and repeat it for a total of 60 seconds. And keeping your back straight, your head, shoulders and hips well aligned while you're stretching is going to make your stretch much more effective. Don't forget to extend your knee completely. Okay, now let's stretch your ankles and your calves standing. So on a step, you're going to lower your heels and you're going to keep that position for a few seconds and you're going to go up. And then you go down again and you keep the stretch for a few seconds. You could stay in that position for 10, 20 or 30 seconds. And after that, you go completely up and you go down again. Doing on a step, it will help you to lower your heel a little bit, a little bit lower. So the stretch is going to be more effective. And we're going to repeat that for about two minutes. I suggest, of course, that you do this exercise on a stair, not on a little bench like I'm showing you. I use that just to be, it would be easier for me to film it.
Another way to relax a cramp, to prevent some cramp, is self-massage. You're going to use a small ball, maybe a little bit smaller than a tennis ball, and a ball that is pretty firm, and you're going to roll that ball underneath your foot, underneath your toes if you can. You could do this exercise while you're sitting. You could also do it while you're standing. And be sure to put a little pressure on the ball. You should feel some tensions. And you roll the ball underneath each toe. Now let's do the self-massage on the other side. So it's exactly the same thing. You do it pretty slowly. You could use a tennis ball. Personally, I prefer to use a smaller ball. And you could also use a, an even smaller one and you would feel the difference. The massage is much more precise and maybe a little more, more uncomfortable when the ball is really small. Again, you could do this exercise while you're lying down like I'm doing, but you could also do it while you're sitting or while you're standing. The self-massage is useful not only for your foot, but also for your calves. So you see how, how I'm doing it. It's pretty easy. There is other kind of roll that you could use that are made exactly for self-massage. But personally, I use this one and it works pretty well. And be sure to massage the lateral part of the muscle and the medial part of the muscle. Okay, let's take a little break and we're going to do it on the other side. Even though you don't have cramps on that side, I recommend that you do the self-massage on both sides. A very important point of getting rid of the cramps is getting more strength in your calves.
So this exercise will help you to gain some strength. You could do it on a step and you don't stay down. You go up and you go down. And you could do this exercise also on one foot. It would be, of course, more difficult. I'm going to show you on my channel other exercises to get stronger cows. This is one of them. And again, you could do it only on one side if you can. While you're doing this, try to keep your knees extended. Don't bend your knees, especially when you go up. And if you can, you could stay up for a few seconds and then bring your heels down. I really hope you feel better. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up, write me a comment, share it on your social media and ask me your question. I will answer them in new videos. So take care of yourself and see you soon. Thank you.